Hey guys, this is Tomek from StorageFreak.net. In this video, I want to show you how you can edit your instance group and do the canary testing and update of the um, image you use in your instance group. But let me start with showing you the environment. I'm working on the existing one with the web group one already set up. If you want to check it out how to do it, you can find the link to the video in the description. Uh, as you can see, I do have two instances in the instance group. And when I navigate to the load balancing, I also have two load balancers set, one with the HTTP protocol and one with the HTTPS protocol. If you want to check out how to set this up, you will also find another link in the description to the another video where, when I set up those two exactly load balancers. So I also have the domain uh, set up. This is cloud.xyz. As you can see, it is responding either from one or the other uh, host I have in my um, instance group. The first task I'm going to do is to edit the instance group and add the third instance. It will be easier later on for the canary testing. So let me change it to free. All the settings leave as default and save. It might take a couple of seconds before we will see the third instance being created, but to speed it up, let's try to refresh the page. And yes, as you can see, the third instance with NN7G in the name is being created as we speak. Uh, so in the meantime, let me go to the instance template and create another template for our instance group. I will copy the one we already have because I will do some uh, basic changes to it. Let's think about it like creating the second version of your application or for your web page or even the canary testing version, some small changes. So in my case, I will change the startup script to edit the uh, index.html page to have a different welcome page. I do have already script written. As you can see, this is very simple, just putting four lines of code to the index.html. So let me copy that and paste that to the automation script. And yeah, and that's pretty much all the changes I wanted to do. So let me save that. What is important to understand for now, we just created the version two of instance template. That's a separate template and it's not being used by the instance group. So it doesn't affect our production environment. It doesn't affect our instances yet. Let me navigate back to the instance group and see if our third node is ready. Okay, it seems all three nodes are ready. So let's refresh a couple of times the load balancer. And as you can see, all three nodes are responding. That's pretty neat. So what we can do is to go for the rolling update and do the canary testing. My target is to change one of the nodes or one of the instances in the instance group to use the new version, the version two we created previously. So let's choose the version two. Now we can choose how many instances or the percentage of our instances in the instance group should go for the new version. Let's go with the 30% or even 33 to make it more mathematically correct. So this will be one out of three version, one out of three nodes or the instances using the new version. So let's accept all the default options for the update mode, maximum search, etc. And let's click update. The request should take a couple of seconds, but we should see some progress pretty soon. And yes, as you can see, new instances being created using the template v2 and the old one of the old instances is being um, deleted. And pretty soon we see that instance with the version 2 is already OK and the old one is still being deleted, but we can already try to refresh the load balancer a couple of times and we already reached the version two. So if we refresh it a couple of times, we are going to hit different instances in our instance uh, group. And since we've got 60% of the old one, around 60% of our requests will go to the old version. So that's actually pretty cool because you can use this to test the new version of your application, check the responses of your customer or change if there, or check if there are any uh, different errors. You can uh, 
change the percentage between your versions as much as you want. Obviously with three instances you don't have much choice, but if you've got 10 instances, well you've got pretty much more choices. In my case I will go to the version 2 completely, so after some time all of the instances will only present version 2. What's really cool about the rolling update approach, this is non-disruptive from the customer point of view. So you can test the new version, you can just move from one version to another and during the transition phase the load balancer will still serve data. Right now I, all my nodes are already version 2. Alright, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and check out all other videos regarding GCP and other topics.